Sarah and John Ratzenberger were barely through their honeymoon when the symptoms began. It started in January of 2010 with a cough and they diagnosed with pneumonia. The cough didn't go away and six months later surgery to remove a lemon-sized tumor revealed the startling news. On July 23rd, 2010, my wife Sarah was diagnosed with stage 4 lung cancer. Suddenly, this 31-year-old avid runner who never smoked was in an unexpected race against time. It was less about curing the disease than it was prolonging her life and, and doing what we could to try and treat and just make her feel better. And that's where the Stormont Vale Cancer Center's palliative care program stepped in to help. Just as hard as they're fighting to fight their disease, they want to fight just as hard to feel good. So our main goal in palliative care is to help patients feel the best they can feel every day. Program coordinator Robin Holthouse says palliative care provides an extra layer of support for patients with serious illness. The team includes doctors and nurses who serve as a central point in coordinating care, not just physical symptoms, but also emotional and spiritual needs. And we spend as much time as needed to answer all the difficult questions. We talk a lot about goals of care. In Sarah's case, John says it was Robin who, a year into Sarah's treatment, noticed unusual side effects and insisted on an MRI that revealed cancer had spread to her brain. They discovered that she was able to get the radiation treatment, and so she had a, another almost year and a half after that. It was time they used to travel and enjoy life. Sarah died November 8th at the age of 33. John credits the palliative care team for leaving him at peace with his memories. She was an amazing, amazing person, and I can look back and I see how strong she was and what she went through, but that also gives me the chance, too, to not just see Sarah as a diagnosis or me seeing her as somebody that I gave support and care to. I get to see her as my wife, and that's, that's the important thing. Melissa Bruner, 13 News.